Hello, hello, hello again. So I'm here today to talk to you about the specific energy of the 156. Now, I've, I've wanted for a while to do more videos on the specific energies, um, but this was always also a request that I got from one of my lovely subscribers and commenters. So this is for you and is also for any other person that has the energy of the 156 in one of the core numbers of their chart which is the life path and birthday number which work together for your purpose so if your 156 energy is your life path or even your birthday number this means that you're going to have some struggle with the elements of this energy this means that this the elements of this energy are here for you to attain in this lifetime therefore when it's your life path this energy is the most important energy in your whole chart so this is most important for you to look at if it's your life path or even your birthday number but the 156 energy might be your expression number, in which case it means you're talented at the elements of the 156 energy. And you are then able, through skillful use of your 156 talent, able to use those talents to support your life path and birthday number, which encompass your purpose in any way you can, using that energy to support your life path energy, because that's what it's there for. And you'll show talents in the 156 energy rather than struggle. If it's your soul urge number, it's not your purpose. The 156 energy is not your struggle. It's not your purpose for this lifetime. It's not your challenge to achieve. It's not the most important number in your chart. It's only the second or third most important they say the expression numbers the second most important but i think the the expression and solo urge number on an equal par because you know you could be as, as talented as you want to be at something or as that you are but if you're not motivated to achieve that you're not going to develop it in any way so you know the soul urge number is another very important number in your chart and it encompasses your motivations and your passions and if this is your soul urge number the 156 then you're going to show passion and motivation towards achieving or manifesting the elements of the 156 energy all the time it's going to be your passion and your focus in this lifetime so the 156 energy is always expresses as the same but it depends where it is in your chart remember if it's your life path or birthday it's your struggle it's your elements to achieve in this lifetime and they're the most important number in your chart when it's your expression number, it's your talent that you need to use to help you achieve your life path. If it's your soul urge, it's your it's your drive, it's your motivation, it's your it's your get up and go, your excited energy that gets you motivated to act that you can use to help you achieve your life path. So it depends on where that energy is as to where it shows as a, a difficulty, a talent or just simply a passion or a motivation. So when let's start with just that six, because that is the most important element of the one, five, six is the six. So if it's your life path or your birthday number, remember, that's your purpose to achieve. So it's a very important number in your chart. It's the most important number if it's your life path. And it's a, a, a challenging, it's a, an important sub lesson if it's your birthday number. And they both imply that there's some 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 difficulty here, that the, the, the elements of the six energy you still have to achieve and you're going to be working towards that. So you may show a certain amount of weakness in the six energy that you're here to develop into more of a strength. So the life path six, they're 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 point of development for this lifetime is to develop a vision of the ideal to be the utopian dreamer to create the benchmark that all of humanity should look towards to be better to evolve into people that support everyone where everybody has enough food to eat a utopia where everywhere everyone is safe and has somewhere safe to live and food in their stomachs clothes on their backs where everyone is treated equally you know that utopian ideal where nobody is everybody is treated equally and there is no discrimination i mean that is a very and elements of that are going to be very unfeasible but you're 
your it's your life path it's your purpose in the, this lifetime to develop that 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 dream for for humanity to look towards and whether they're feasible at that moment or not to to reconcile that reality understand that this you know it's not feasible that everyone has to you know be all fed in this lifetime at the moment so i'm going to reconcile that with reality but i'm going to act every day on my ideals and do things that help more people around the world to be fed so you like to not only have that vision but you like to act on that vision well that's what you're here to develop towards having a vision and then acting on that vision every day to try and bring those ideas to reality and those ideals to reality but then not being emotional or miserable or judgmental if not all of those ideals can be achieved all at once or at this lifetime at the end of the day the, the six is here to understand that the world is a balanced universe or the universe is balanced to help teach us to help us go through experiences both good and bad in order to learn about love and hate in order to learn about you know care and um and hurting others to see both sides of the coin and learn and evolve through that and that's what the six is here to achieve to show the world what they could be but to reconcile their current level of achievement and understand that people aren't really at that level yet and not judge them or be disappointed by them or yourself or the world or anyone but of course because it is your life path number you know this is the, 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 you're going to struggle to do that you know you're going to have unrealistic ideas or you may have un, you know your utopia could be unrealistic in some levels but you you may not always reconcile that and you may have expectations that are beyond um the realistic way of doing things at the moment or you know you've got to keep in mind that this universe needs to stay balanced and um you know and it's for our evolution and learning think of the world you know if you if this helps you as a six as a school of learning and experience and to make it all utopian would stop us learning important lessons in this lifetime so it's not about making us suffer it's helping us learn and get through the things that happen in the world and evolve as a soul so it's not to have unrealistic ideas ideals you need to work past those and you mustn't use them as a benchmark for your happiness or a benchmark for you to judge yourself or other people because the six can be very judgmental when they when their ideals are not met and um, when they feel that they should be met and they haven't and they haven't reconciled the idea that you know not everything's going to be ideal and it's literally not meant to be ideal and you need to work towards the understanding that the world is meant to be balanced you know we're working towards perfection we're not there yet and it's good for them to have that vision of the ideal for us all always to look for that benchmark to look at but not to be used as a benchmark for your happiness or um, as, as, a, as, as a reason to judge people in this lifetime. Because, you know, you're here to learn to accept this balanced universe as it is now. To not be judgmental of yourself and others and the world for not meeting your ideals or allowing it, or allowing it to make you feel unhappy is what I just said. You know, you need to understand that as much as you have the ideals there, the world hasn't achieved that and you know it might not be in humanity's interests in this level of our evolution for us to turn the world into a, a utopia um because it's it's not meant to be it's meant to be a school at the end of the day and we need to work towards that ideal but not use it as a benchmark for judgment or unhappiness you know just see it as as the big target that humanity will be um um working towards for eons because we've got to evolve towards it at the end of the day and it's that realization that a life path six especially or a birthday number six comes needs to come to terms with to make themselves feel over time less judgmental and less you know not not um holding their emotions or their happiness based on their ideals of perfection because that will keep them in a perpetual state of unhappiness and stop them from being able to rationalize and reconcile their maybe unfeasible ideas at this time with 
true reality and just resolve to work towards it daily and not be so upset that it's not already here. You know, that's the big overarching need of a life path six, even a birthday number six, but mostly the life path. You're here to be non-judgmental. You're here not to judge others because the life path six can be judgmental because they're using their ideals or perfections as a benchmark and they need to not be judgmental or nitpick or scornful or unaccepting of those that don't meet their standards because you know we're all a work in progress and remember the universe isn't meant to be perfect we're all in different stages of our learning and you know we're not at the level yet where ideals can be met to a massive degree and like I said, it's not in our interests to turn our school of learning into a less effective school of learning if it if it sort of pushes away all the negative. You know, the negative exists as much as the positive in balance. So in being non-judgmental and not using your ideals to judge others and accept everyone for who they are and, and the level they are now and not judge people because that's just going to impact your own happiness not nitpick all the time or be scornful or unaccepting of others that you don't feel are you know up to your ideal you know you're here to learn to have healthy boundaries because this this push that you have to be the ideal version of yourself and to take care of everyone and make sure everyone has what they need, you can do too much. And um, you need to learn to balance your own well-being with how much you you help other people, because you can do too much, even to the point of meddling in other people's lives. And this can cause exhaustion and loss of yourself. You know, you're not you're not working towards your own goals. You're working towards other people's, everyone else's and you haven't got any boundaries and it's causing exhaustion you know you need to focus on yourself as much as you focus on others because you have issues to achieve as well around idealism you know you're, you're here to develop as well your artistic creative and aesthetic and musical um potentials that you could potentially use to help you to nurture other people or to help people feel more calm and nurtured in this lifetime you have the potential and need to develop your artistic aesthetic musical potential that you have within you but often because you're a life path or birthday number six, low confidence could stop you from fully exploring that 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 beautiful creative artistry, the 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 the, the aesthetic beauty and the musical ability or potential that you have within you. So what about let's nitpick the life path and birthday number and look at the worst side of the 156. Now, this is the 156 at its worst. So if you're a life path or birthday number 156, I'm not saying you're all these things and you're a horrific person and you, you know, you're totally, you know, um, all of these elements and it means you're a rubbish person. No, it means some of these elements are going to be of a difficulty to you. And depending on the other numbers in your chart, like your expression number, which supports your life path, your soul urge and other numbers in your chart, some of these elements won't be so difficult for you or you might not be so uncommitted. You might be um, you might be a person that is their six is quite supported. So they're quite realistic. You know, they're not overly idealistic or. You know, so some of these elements that is the worst of the 156 or the weakest of the 156 doesn't mean that you have all these elements. It just means that you may show some of these elements or you may be inconsistent in some of these elements. But it is all of these elements really that you're here to achieve in this lifetime. And depending on where we are in our path and the other numbers in our chart will depend on how much of these negative attributes you show and which ones we need to work on more and which ones you find a little bit easier so remember this is the 156 when it's you know this could be when it's at its weakest okay um so a life path and birthday number 156 is more likely to show the weaker sides not all of them of all the numbers but they're more likely to show difficulties in these situations because that's their purpose to achieve in this lifetime so in the six energy like i said to 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 wrap it up really they can be unrealistic perfectionistic and judge um and be underconfident and judge themselves and this you know if their ideals aren't being met and they feel that some 
groups of people don't meet their standard of their ideal, they actually have at their worst the potential to be discriminating and quite neglectful um, in their discrimination. They might just neglect everyone or they may be quite neglectful of certain groups because, you know, they're so wrapped up in their ideals of what things should be. They, they translate it into um, disdain for people that don't match their ideals. Remember, this is the six at their worst. And this is the, um, the, the, the fundamentalist kind of attitude where ideals can come before human or animal well-being. So this is when ideals can start to become dangerous, as ideals can be dangerous in this world. As soon as an ideal is put before and prioritized ahead of the well-being of humanity and animal life or any vulnerable beings on this earth, then it's becoming dangerous. And it's becoming, it, it could make a six become quite discriminating and uncaring and even irresponsible, especially towards certain groups or even everyone. Um, the, a, a six that is struggling might hold themselves back with social anxiety and struggle to start uh, meet new people or go into new situations because of nerves and anxiety and they can also do too much in other people's lives and be a bit of a meddler um you know push unsolicited advice on people and just specifically lack boundaries on how much they will do and knowing when to back off and in the five energy you know this can cause the one five six to struggle to find their focus in life because the five is about finding your passion your mastery and you can be and because that is your 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 purpose of course that's going to be a difficulty so instead of being focused like you need to be you can be quite scattered and you can struggle to commit be undisciplined and able to focus on any one subject part you know to take it to progress it to anywhere let alone to become a specialist within that field um, you can you're prone to be irresponsible with your freedom and say I'm going to do what I want but you know being a slave to your desires doesn't necessarily bring you the freedom that you think it might freedom comes through discipline and this misuse of freedom that the five can bring about can make them prone to irresponsible behavior getting themselves put in prison get their freedom taken away you know I'm going to be free and then they do something to get themselves put away or, you know, prone to excess, you know, I'll eat and drink whatever I like. And then, of course, that excess causes ill health and then takes away their freedom that they think that they were following. And they realize that freedom isn't about being a slave to your desires. It's actually about having some discipline and focus and bringing some mastery and discipline into your life. It's what's going to bring you real freedom in this lifetime. But of course, you're going to struggle with that. So you're prone to excess. You're prone to rule breaking. Um, irresponsibility, bouncing around without meaning, going from experience to experience without focusing on anything um, in any particular level, because that's what you need to do. Um, you could be obsessive, uh, fierce, obsessive independence, um, swinging back to dependence when it suits you. So, you know, the five needs to not only be realistic and be non-judgmental and to care for others, they need to do it with a mastery, with a focus, with a discipline. And last but, and definitely the least, actually, because the six is the most important number here, then the five, and then the one. So they might have elements of underconfidence in them. They might actually allow fear to stop them. Um, sometimes they might fail to act through their unconfidence or their social anxiety or no, I can't do it. I'm not good enough and then stop themselves. Um, and on the other side of the coin, they can be quite self-absorbed and selfish, um, overconfident or, over, or underconfident. They, they struggle to balance their confidence and they could have unbalanced achievement, which means either they're over obsessed with achievement or they're too fearful to achieve anything and don't achieve anything, you know, then they need to find that balance of achievement. So that can be a difficulty when you're struggling with the one um, fearful underconfidence and then failing to act because of that underconfidence. Too much focus on the self um, or sometimes swinging towards quite a tyrannical um, overconfidence. Um, and your achievement can be unbalanced depending on how you're feeling at any one time, how confident you're feeling, 
Um, and you can, you know, at your worst, be quite arrogant, tyrannical and aggressive. Now, remember, this is the 156 at its worst. Wherever you are as a, as a life path or birthday number, life path, most importantly, remember, wherever you are is going to be where you are in your development as a soul. And it's going to link very much to your other numbers in your chart, um, what you find most difficult out of all of this and what you find easier. OK, so this doesn't mean you're going to struggle at all of these things because it very much development. Um, folk, it really, oh, for goodness sake, <laughs> it really depends on your supporting numbers to how well each of these elements are achieved in your lifetime. But remember, this is your purpose and your struggle. And the best thing to do if you are a life path or birthday number 156 is to embrace the trouble, troubles you you have and the difficulties and and embrace walking the path to improving them because that is your life purpose to do so so it's not about allowing your difficulties to bring you down they're the next level in yours in your spiritual evolution you're here to learn this next stage in your evolution embrace these difficulties and 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 focus on achieving the elements of this energy to achieve your purpose in this lifetime it's exciting to see what your to-do list is if you reframe it in that way. So the six energy at its best. So these are the elements that show the six energy at its best that are, that are here in these bullet points. So remember, the, the, the most important number is your life path. So these elements here, you're going to struggle. You're working towards these points. So some are going to be better than others. And there's some elements you're going to really struggle with. And you might struggle with all of them, some of them, or, you know, you might struggle loads with that one, but better be that one. You know, it depends on your life and other numbers in your chart. But this is going to be the elements you're working towards. Same if it's your birthday number, because you're working towards these elements. But, and it's, it's like a secondary uh, supporting sub lesson for your life path. It's, in, it's important that you include this in your purpose, but it's not as important as if it's your life path number. OK, you're working towards these points. You're not necessarily going to be good at them yet that's why it's your life path if it's your expression energy these are talents you already have within you and whether you're expressing them or not you have these talents you, all these energy all these elements that i'm about to say are within you already as a resource for you to use to support your purpose in this lifetime if it's your soul urge number, it's that you're motivated by these points below. They're not necessarily your purpose. They're there to be used to support the achievement of whatever your purpose is. They're not your talents. They're your motivations, your passion. So you're motivated to be a visionary in this lifetime. So I'm going to go over all these main elements of the six energy at its best. And depending on whether you're a life path expression, soul urge or birthday number 156, you will know how to um, um, understand how they feature in your life, depending on what where they are in your chart. So the six at its best is, is, a, is a visionary. They've got a beautiful vision of the utopian ideal. They've got a strong and vivid picture of how the world sh the, is should be, where everybody is taken care of and fed and everybody lives in this dreamland of love and everyone's fed and everyone's happy, everyone's safe, everyone's housed. And this utopian ideal drives you and serves as a benchmark for humanity to look towards and keep in mind to make sure they're always working towards being better, which is an amazing thing for a six to bring because it gives her humanity that target to look towards. And, you know, whether it's realistic or not at that time, having that utopian ideal is vital to help humanity keep looking in the right direction. You know, but the six is also here to be that visionary, but accept the universe as it is now, um, all existing in perfect balance. And whereas you want the utopian ideal, you understand as a high functioning six 
that all exists in perfect balance for our learning and in our experience. And to be a utopia at this point in our evolution would teach us nothing and stop our evolution in their tracks. So you reconcile the world how it is now and you, you, you accept that you're a work in progress and you see that vision is as a work in progress that you're working towards and you try and act every day to match those ideals but with the full understanding that you know you're not always going to meet those ideals how much as hard you try and nor is the world or everyone else around you and not to link your link your happiness to it you know, a high function in six is responsible. They're the sensible advisor. They're the voice of reason. They're, they're talented at art, art, aesthetic beauty, whatever medium they decide to focus on, whether it's makeup and beauty and hairdressing or fashion or homewares or jewelry, um, um, or whether they focus their, 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 their artistic um, uh, potential into music, um, they're here to express their creative artistry and, and a high function in six has chosen a medium or expresses many of the mediums here as part of their, their creative musical and artistic expression. They're an accomplished nurturer, a very parental, compassionate and caring. They love to support their family and, you know, bake cakes and look after their community and make sure everyone's safe. And especially those that are less fortunate, they're going to be very, very, you know, um, good at and wanting to express their ideals by looking after people that aren't, that don't live in their utopia yet and trying to help them towards that utopia and expressing the ideals that you want to see in this world you have excellent social skills everyone loves a high functioning six they're a talkative team player they love to have fun and they're very nurturing and you can talk to a six about anything and they'll give you a sensible um sensible answer and they'll be very compassionate and warm with that they're able to create that warm, stable, nurturing, peaceful home for you and your family, for anyone to feel safe. They, they can bring their community together. They're, they're the nurturing um, the, the peacemaker of any team, any family, any group, because they're just non-judgmental. They accept everyone for who they are as a working progress or working towards their own version of the ideal. And as much as you love to look after each other, others and nurture others, you, you, you have healthy boundaries around um, your own well-being and, you know, that you, you can balance your own well-being around helping others. And you know when to stop med not meddling in people's lives. You know when to stop and care for yourself and your own cause or your own um, needs in this lifetime. So remember, these elements are going to show as a strength. Um, a passion or a difficulty, depending on where they are in your chart. So a high functioning, fully talented, that is expressing all their abilities as an expression. Some people call it a destiny number, but I don't really like that number because you're, it, it, it implies that it's something that you're going to have. And to me, well, in my experience and research, your expression number is the is the talent that you already have. It's what you already express. So for me, the expression number is the expression of the 156 energy at its best, showing as a talent. So the, the expression 156, when they're expressing and using all their talents, and not everyone uses all their talents all at once, and sometimes they might be better at using some talents than they are others, but they are there within them, whether they use them or not. So this is a natural talent when it's your expression number. And it means you, you have the ability already within you to, to be a high function in six, five and, and one, but most importantly, the six. But you might not always use that talent and it might not always be used the way it could be to support your purpose. So the six at its best, in a nutshell, is a big picture visionary and a dreamer of the utopian ideal. 
and they look towards that as a benchmark for for their practical action and everything they do and say in this lifetime but they have full acceptance and reconciliation with reality they don't judge anyone for not being perfect they understand that that's perfection and we're not there yet and we're all working towards it in our own little way you accept yourself you accept others and you accept the world as being perfectly imperfect and you understand that the world actually uh, fundamentally is a virtual reality school of experience here to teach us and help us evolve with experiencing both the good and the bad you're compassionate you're socially competent you're a nurturer a really popular team player a sensible advisor but you also have healthy boundaries you know when to stop you express your artistry your aesthetics and whatever medium that comes about and you develop confidently your your amazing musical ability that you have within you and you can use that to to nurture others or yourself in many many different ways in the five you're, you you've gained your mastery when you're showing the five at the at the, at the highest vibration you you've engaged in various experience and you found your passion your mastery your independence and your freedom and you know that this topic that disciplined focus on this topic whatever it may be and it will be linked to nurture it will be linked to your artistry in the six but whatever that mastery is that is linked to the six energy because it needs to be linked to the six that specific passion and mastery you're developing that you found your mastery you've you 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 you, you focus on your your specialism um um, right down to the detail. So you, you've, you're learning to be a master or you are already a master in your subject, a specialist in your subject that nurtures other people, that nurtures the world, that makes the world a better place, whatever that mastery is. And you're always going to have that talent for adaptability that talent for adventure and that talent for excitement and being able to get out there and be fearless you know but you you know you, you you've developed the ability to balance that need for fearless adventure and variation and and you've you've learned to balance that with your need to have discipline for your mastery and having someone a family or a group behind you that helps you to be that springboard and, and keep some stability in your life to support the development of your mastery your nurturing artistic creative mastery whatever that may be could be spiritual could be intuitive could be practical care it could be anything that you could develop mastery within and then you can use Use that to support the six you're you, when you're a high functioning five you're focused and committed to that mastery and you you know that eventually you will achieve real freedom from your discipline and it's going to be via your focus and you know your your obsession towards developing towards mastery you know you you have excellent communication skills you're able to verbally and in written form as well and with your art and aesthetics express yourself charismatically fearlessly encourage others to be fearless so you're very much about having a mastery and expressing that mastery to the world focusing on it and then expressing it to the world and it needs to nurture others it needs to be linked to your ideals and it needs to manifest creatively with your creative artistry music art or the written word is going to be part of how you express yourself in this lifetime and you're able you're also quite innovative when you show the strengths of a one you can channel new innovative ideas from source energy and then initiate them you can act practically to surge ahead and bring those new ideas and manifest them in real life to bring change so you can be the one that brings things that people have never seen before it could be new ideas to to bring more equality in the world it could be new ideas that help to make unfertile lands more fertile so that people more people are fed remember it's always linked to that six to those ideals you could channel innovative ideas that help more people to be cared for whether it be water pumps shelters food um, um ideas emotions counseling advising you're going to be quite innovative on how you channel through your mastery 
into your life path or your expression number 156. So as a real high function in 156, you're fundamentally a nurturer. Um, you, you live to your ideals and you really want to make the world a better place. And, you know, you, you're, a, you're a socially competent parental carer of others and you like to bring peace and, and security and stability to people. And you want to do that through your nurturing mastery, whatever that may be, and through expressing that mastery through your artistry or through your written work, word, however you want to express yourself in order to nurture other people using words or creative artistry or however you do it, it's going to be to nurture people and support your ideals. You're also going to bring a bit of um, innovation in to your mastery and like i said you could come up with ideas that actually make the world a better place step by step like i said new technology maybe to help you know pumps be better to help more people to be fed new irrigation methods you know ways to to feed the soil so that more people can be fed it's all you know the the results are can be quite high for a 156 because they could fundamentally make the world a better place through their specialism and their innovation if they use their expression to their highest level but remember we don't always use our talents to their best and you know we need to learn to use that more especially if you're an expression 156 and then you can help use that this energy of the 156 to help you develop in your life path and your purpose in this lifetime because that's what it's there for. Your expression number is there to support your purpose in this lifetime. So if this is your talent number, you need to express this talent and you need to use it to help you achieve whatever your difficulties are in this lifetime that are in your life path and birthday number, because that's what it's there for. If it's your soul urge number, it's not it's not your purpose. It's there to support you, maybe, to help you indirectly to achieve your purpose. It's not your talent, although you could develop it into a talent because you're focused on it. It's your passion. It's your motivation. It's your drive. And of course, when you're really driven to achieve these elements or to express them, you're more likely to turn them into a talent anyway. So the elements of the 156 here are your your what drives you. You're not necessarily talented. And, you know, it's, these elements don't need to be achieved. It's your life path that needs to be achieved. It's these elements you need to support your motivation to support your life path. So you're motivated and driven by your visions of a better world. Um, you're a dreamer of the utopian ideal. You love to be responsible. You love to be that sensible advisor that looks after everyone. You love to show yourself as artistic, aesthetic, and it, you find art and aesthetic beauty very fulfilling and relaxing in whatever medium you, you, you do it in, whether it's in the home or whether it's on your body, making yourself look good, whether it's your environment, your office, anywhere. You also have a strong love of music, listening to it, playing it, singing it. Um, music is just a big thing for you. You adore nurturing others and your family and your community and those less fortunate. And you you love to socialize and you prefer to work as part of a team rather than on your own. And you're very motivated to have a family and create that loving, stable, peaceful home where everyone feels, you know, happy and very Brady Bunch like everyone's stable and secure and fed and happy. You, you want to be non-judgmental and you want to accept everyone around you. It's just your soul urge to be a little love to everyone. You want um, and while you're being a little love to everyone, you've, you, you know, you, you do want a healthy balance. You, you do know, need to, you know, have a, a sense of knowing when to stop and when to go and rest yourself. And you're still connected with yourself and making sure that you rest and you don't Give all your energy to other people because when you're a soul urge 156, you're at risk of doing too much for other people because you're just so driven to look after others and create that stability and nurture for everyone else around you. Um, and you need to find that healthy balance and make sure your soul urge isn't overtaking everything. You're also quite adventurous. You love a bit of travel and then you, you, you're quite happy with new experience as long as it's not um, too scary or affecting your safety in any way. And you love to um, you love mastery. You love communication. You love to learn about spiritual subjects. You're 
you love to communicate your knowledge and your mark and your mastery and you're very spiritual in your way because the five is about looking at the world around you and then finding your focus and you're passionate about delivering your nurture delivering your practical ideals to the world through a specialism through your mastery whatever that may be whether it's you know creative and artistic or whether it's just practically nurturing or however you want to bring your ideals you can find a mastery within that but you're also as well always going to have that that adventurous side to your nature that love of travel and new experience is always going to be a part of your nature because it's in you in the five but you also love to be a master and a specialist in your field and you you want to balance the two so you still keep that adventure in your life um, but you can, can you can bring about that mastery and that and that specialism that will bring you the freedom that is your heart's desire. And you love to communicate, you know, especially when it's on um, your mastery. You love to communicate, especially when it's nurturing others, when it's to do with your um, mastery. And your 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 communication is going to be very spiritual in a way, because the five um, is very esoteric and so is the one. And the six also can tip very um, strongly towards the spiritual so you're likely to want to nurture people through spirituality that might link through your mastery. You might bring in some um, some of your creative artistry. It's just what drives you in this lifetime. And then you've got to think, how can I use my 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 passion, one, my one, five, six motivation to help me achieve whatever my life path um, and birthday number or my purposes in this lifetime that's the key to understanding your chart and using your numbers to the best of, of their ability depending on where they manifest in your chart so I hope you found this video useful today. If you like this video, please smash the like button because it really helps me out. Uh, subscribe and click that bell icon so you're kept up to date with all my latest uploads. Um, uh, but yeah, put that thumbs up button because it really helps me out to know whether you like my content or not. Um, if you'd like a reading, please contact me. Send me an email, most importantly. You can contact me through Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter as well. But you'll get the fastest response through email because that's the one that I check the most um, on a daily basis. <clears throat> If you'd like to learn how to be a numerology reader, I'm um, over halfway through creating my course for Udemy, and that's going to be a very long and detailed reader course. So if you're interested in becoming a numerologist, my course that I've got coming out soon is going to be really useful for you um, to be a reader and to really understand the numbers well. So contact me if you'd like to be on my mailing list for when my new course is ready. I already have a course on Udemy if you haven't seen it already ready and I'm going to put a link in the description box and that gives you the foundations of the information about numerology but the big ones on its way so again if you want me to let you know um, please contact me and then I'll send you an email when my course is available because it's very long it's going to be about 60 hours worth of lectures but it's going to really help you understand the language of numbers by the time we're done but you could want to just ask me a question you might want to just request a video because I like to do video requests requests so if you want to just request a video or ask me a question again you can comment on my videos or you can send me a message in uh, my email or through facebook instagram or twitter and i'll be happy to chat to you guys as i'm happy to hear from all of you but as ever i want you to trust the soul within you above all else because only your own intuition knows what's best for you